Hello everybody, it's Jess here with Blush Jess. Thank you so much for watching. I wanted to do a quick PSA here to let you know the video you're about to watch has a few fast food items in there. It also has some quick, easy meals on there. It was one of those weeks, y'all, keeping it real. Um, we don't do this all the time, but there was some very quick fast food meals. If you don't like that, just move on to the next video. If you're still here, hello, and let's get started with this week's video. All right, everybody. Hello, it's Jess here with Blush Jess. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to another What's for Dinner video. What's for dinner? <laughs> Whoa, you okay? I'm okay. Oh, man. Uh, as you can tell us by the start of this, this is a real life dinner week. Um, <laughs> the kids are already starving to death. So every night I'm going to show you what the kids have for dinner and then later on what David and I have for dinner. Yes, most of the time if you are new, we do not eat at the same time. Yes, um, we feed the kids first um, and we eat a little bit later. Just what works best for us right now. As you can see, we have hungry little munchkins right now. So tonight is Monday night. We're starting a fresh video and this is what the kiddos have. Dave and I actually have a lot of leftovers left over. Yesterday we had a huge nacho sale at church. So we're actually going to make taco salads tonight. I try to use up some of those leftovers. If I have a chance, I'll show you what that looks like. But here is what the kids have. So I made Lucy some rotini pasta. There's a little bit of butter and Parmesan on there. She has some cucumbers, some pears, and a little cup we got at Aldi. And then she's got her vitamin gummies and some milk. Nader's has some white cheddar macaroni and cheese. And with a big plate of strawberries and milk. Ale and Jasmine. Awesome. So anyway, this is what the kids have on Monday it's night. So we'll see you guys back in a little bit and I'll show you David and I's dinner next. All right, you guys. So here is my taco salad. I'm going to go ahead and eat because I've got to head to the grocery store. Dave was going to eat as soon as he bathed the kids. So I have a bed of shredded lettuce, some taco meat, a little bit of cheese sauce, about three or four chips just kind of crunched up for texture, and some sour cream that I just use a squirt bottle for to just get a little bit. So this is what I'm having using up those leftovers. All right, everybody, welcome to Tuesday night. <laughs> Let me show you what the kids have. I do have David and I's dinner in the uh, pressure cooker. We're gonna have some soup, but here's what the kids have. I whipped them up some pizza crust out of the Dining on a Dumb cookbook. I'm really trying to use this more often. If you're looking for a great cookbook, I have a link um, where you can buy this and it is my favorite. It's like the only the only cookbook I still have. It's really good, simple, and affordable recipes. So I made some pizza with the crust recipes. Really, really simple. I just did cheese. So this one's Lucy. She has two pieces with some honey crisp apple. And then I'll get her some milk. Nate has the same. He has two pieces, but he likes his cut up so he can use a fork. So he has that here. And then I also gave him a Oikos key lime yogurt. They'll both have milk and um, when our dinner gets ready, I'll show you that next. All right, you guys, so this is what Dave and I are having. Cooked it in the Kasori pressure cooker. Um, I found this recipe on Instagram, so I will leave the recipe down below. It is potato soup. It was really easy to make. It's just potatoes, some chicken stock, um, garlic powder, onion powder. They said to use like onions, but I didn't have any, so I just used onion powder. A can of chicken cream of chicken soup and then I just cooked it it didn't take long at all and I uh, put some cheese in there too so we're gonna have that I have some bacon in the fridge if we want to top it with bacon I also have some sour cream out and some extra cheese but this is our quick dinner tonight we'll see you guys back for Wednesday coming up next all right you guys so it is Wednesday night it is now this is what time we're having dinner, y'all. Yeah, it's been a long day. <laughs> so what I've been doing on Wednesday nights, actually like every other Wednesday night, is taking the kids to Wendy's on the way to church. They have $1.99 kids meals. So it's like a win-win for everybody. A super easy, quick night. They both had a kids meal. One of them had a cheeseburger. That was Nate. Lucy had um, chicken nuggets. So, you know, it is a great deal if you guys have a Wendy's. Uh, at least ours just started doing $1.99 kids meals after four. So they had that. And David and I, I made this before we left for church. It's enchiladas. I used the leftover taco meat and added a can of enchilada sauce and then rolled them into tortillas. I put up more enchilada sauce and some cheese. I ran out of cheddar, so I'm having a little bit of cheddar and a little bit of mozzarella. But it'll it'll do. So this is what we're having for dinner. I had planned to have a salad with it and all that, but honestly, 
No, it's 941. So we're just going to eat a couple of these and then the rest will be left over for lunch. But this is what we're having for dinner tonight. All right, guys. So <laughs> it is now Thursday night. I know we had Wendy's last night. I am fully aware. I never do two meals fast food back to back, but we're doing it tonight. And I'm going to tell you why the kids had field day today. The whiny level because they are absolutely exhausted is through the roof. I had to run some errands with them and it was just no, it was just no good. They are so tired and whiny and it's four o'clock. It's like 4:10 right now. I'm going to go ahead and feed them. And I have a lot going on today, a lot of work to do, and it's just easier to grab some Chick-fil-A. Honestly, it's just a total, total fail, but you know what? It's fine. They had a very healthy lunch. They will live through some Chick-fil-A. <laughs> anyway, and one of them I dumped out on the ground outside. <laughs> a few French fries had a little bit of dirt on them. <laughs> oh. One of those nights, y'all. So they both get a six count nugget. Usually Lucy can't eat the full six count. So we'll give a couple to Nate um, and he'll have a little extra. He loves the nuggets. So he'll eat like eight and she'll have four. And then they have French fries. And instead of lemonade, which they normally get, I got them some milk. So that is what they're having for dinner. I plan to do HelloFresh tonight and cook. Totally forgetting that David was going to be at practice. So he's not getting home till eight or so. And I have a ton of stuff to do, including bathing the kids, getting them down and everything else. So we probably are just going to have leftovers. I have potato soup left over and I have enchiladas left over. And during all of this, they're painting our corridor outside. So Layla's going crazy and we just had to walk through paint fumes. So it's just one of those days. It is one of those days y'all real life. We're having Chick-fil-A all, all that's said and done. Yay. We'll see you guys back on Friday. All right, you guys, it is now Saturday night. I totally forgot to film last night. It was kind of a crazy night. We had been up for a lot of hours. Lucy got sick on Thursday after, um, well, after dinner and all that. So we were very tired. We were very tired on Friday. So we ended up having, I made the kids, let's see, Lucy had taco wraps. So she had tortillas and veggies and fruit and pepperoni. She was feeling a little bit better last night. So she kind of snacked on that. I made Nate the same mac and cheese. This is the leftovers. It's like the white cheddar craft. He really likes it. <clears throat> so that's what we had. He had that in an applesauce. I had a bagel with a piece of sausage, just like a breakfasty sandwich. And then David had some more leftovers. So it was just kind of like one of those nights where we were like zombies because we had been up all night with Lucy sick. So she's feeling a lot better. However, we're still doing pretty simple dinner here. <laughs> Mommy is tired. It's been a very long week. Um, hopefully going to get us back into a better ro rotation of um, cooking and stuff. It's just been kind of hard. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. So... Maybe I can sit down after everything and plan some like uh, slow cooker meals or some meals that I can make fast, um, or stick it in the freezer or something to where we're not eating so many leftovers. Anyway, anyway, side note, it's just been kind of a crazy busy week. I'm not sure what Dave and I are going to have. I actually had a little serving of Nate's mac and cheese and a mango. So <laughs> I may not be hungry for a while uh, or we may do something quick or whatever. I don't know. I have stuff I need to cook. I just don't really have, I just don't feel like it. Has anybody ever been there? So this is what I made the kids on Saturday night. That's what I'm getting to. Nate has some of the leftover white cheddar mac and cheese and some chicken nuggets cut up with a, with a little bit of ketchup and then I was gonna see if he wanted some strawberries or applesauce or something like to go with it but for right now that's what he has I maybe give him that as a snack like right before bed I'll give him some strawberries um he likes that so maybe we'll do that for like a little dessert and then he has some milk Lucy has some chicken nuggets cut up with some baby carrots some oranges and these this is a little bit of mango from that mango I ate it's a really good mango she wasn't crazy. She tried it. She just tried it. She wasn't crazy about it, but it's on her plate. A little silly. It's a little bit different to get used to. She's used to the mango from Walmart that's like really crunchy, like the one they already have pre cut. And this is a really nice ripe mango. So she's getting used to it. And then she, they both have some milk. So <laughs> this is a very long clip to tell you <laughs> what the kids have for dinner. Um, if we end up this eating later. Snack time. Oh, you want that for snacks? She's got some pears too. <laughs> 
So maybe she'll have that. Whatever she wants. We're just we're just making it easy tonight. So anyway, if we eat, eat something exciting, I'll show you. If not, we'll see you guys back for Sunday. All right, you guys. So <laughs> I have really do have food I need to be cooking, but I just don't feel like it. It has been a long week, sick kid, and just you well, know, we only spent $4.50. We only spent 4 50 because we had a little bit of a gift card left over. So we both got a sandwich at Subway. <laughs> I really do need to cook tomorrow. Let's see. But tomorrow's Mother's Day, so I shouldn't have to cook, right? The whole week I get off cooking. I don't know. It's just been it's been one of those weeks where I'm just exhausted, honestly. So this is what I got. I got a foot long. I don't know if I'll eat the whole thing. I'm not super hungry because I did have a little bit of Nate's mac and cheese and that mango. Um this is turkey sub. I got it on jalapeno cheddar with cheese, lettuce, pickle. Um, and then instead of like a condiment, I just get them to put a little bit of oil. It's like olive oil or whatever. And then some oregano. It's really, really good. So I'm going to have it with a Diet Coke. And we need to film some things. So hopefully we are able to do that. And we'll see you guys back for Sunday coming up next. All right, everybody, welcome to Sunday night. Happy Mother's Day. That's what we have going on today. <laughs> it's Mother's Day. Um, we had a huge lunch after church. I am actually still full and it's six o'clock at night. I have a feeling I'll be eating some fruit and maybe uh, a little snack or something for dinner. I have no idea, but we are not going to have a full big dinner because we had a huge lunch. So the kids are hungry though, and we have some leftover pizza. I also went to Sprouts today and got a bunch of fresh fruits and veggies. So Lucy will be very excited. <laughs> Lucy loves her fresh raw veggies and fruit and Nate um, we'll eat his strawberries too. He loves those. So we have some leftover pizza. We ordered pizza from CC's yesterday and Nate has some pepperoni pizza cut up. I just warmed it up in the oven. It's like two small pieces of pepperoni and then one cheese stick. He likes to have it all cut up so we can use his fork. A good practice for him to do that too. And then he has a little cup of strawberries and his milk. Lucy has a piece of cheese pizza, a cheese stick, some peppers, blueberries and strawberries and a cucumber. I did cut off the peel for today. That was kind of thick. Um, so just regular peel, peeled cucumbers and then some milk. So I probably won't show you David and I's dinner yet again because we aren't going to have dinner. We're going to have some fruit or a quick snack or something and that's going to be it. All right, everybody. Welcome to Monday night. So we are trying something a little bit new for Nate. I am a little nervous about it. We'll see how it goes. If he doesn't like it and he can't handle the texture, we'll do something else. But I thought maybe this would be a good thing to try. So here's his plate. I made some pasta. He asked for mac and cheese. So I said, how about pizza mac and cheese? That's what I'm going to call this. <laughs> There's some ziti that I cooked and I put a little bit of pizza sauce on, stirred it up and topped it with some mozzarella cheese. So it's like a melty pizza pasta. Um, he th normally does not like red sauce. So I'm not sure if he's going to look at this and go, no, <laughs> but he's really, really hungry. So I'm hoping that will help. So he has this, I will definitely keep you guys updated. I'll let you know at the end of this, if he actually eats this and what happens, <laughs> as I know you guys are going to ask. So he has a nice serving of that on this plate. And then I also gave him a yogurt. This is a strawberries and cream Greek yogurt. And then I'm going to give them both some milk. This is an old uh, cup. I need to get some fresh milk, but pizza, pasta, and <laughs> Greek yogurt. Lucy has the same pasta, but she just has some butter and Parmesan cheese on hers. She has some green beans. I just got one of those steamable green bean pouches and cooked that in the microwave. I cut up a fresh watermelon, so she has that. And then also, we need to use these up, Danimal smoothie and mixed berry. So everybody cross your fingers real, real hard. We're going to try this out and see how it goes. All right, you guys. So <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Uh, he did try it so I'm very proud of them for that he even swallowed a bite and then he started gagging so sensory issues are um, not just about being picky if you don't know that much about autism um, it's just certain textures are very very hard especially new textures and it was just a little bit too much. So we're going to keep working at it. Um, I know some of you are probably going to comment that, you know, I should just not give him anything else to eat. And if he doesn't eat, then he doesn't eat. But again, 
autism is a little bit different. It's not just refusal to eat because he doesn't. (laughs) Yeah. So I just, it's just how I do it. If he doesn't, he did try it and uh, I don't want him going to bed hungry. So I just went ahead and cooked some um, chicken nuggets in the air fryer. He did have his yogurt, but definitely that is not enough to keep him full until breakfast tomorrow. So he has five chicken nuggets cut up. I just gave him a little bit of ketchup. I'm super proud of him for trying and we'll keep working on it little by little. So this is what uh, the kids had tonight and David and I will be coming up soon. All right, you guys. So it is now time for us to eat. These are HelloFresh burgers. Yummy, delicious cheeseburgers. I got my bun a little toasty, but that's okay. Um, Just basically the HelloFresh meat with some cheese I kept it real simple when I made the burger, salt, pepper, basic. I did put a little bit of jalapeno ranch on the bottom of each bun. And we're also going to put a little bit of ketchup to just a little kick spice. I'm giving David some green beans. He loves green beans. I put a teeny bit of butter on there just for some extra flavor. And then he has a big bowl of watermelon. Actually, it's a small bowl, but it looks really good. So that's what we're having for dinner. I'm not crazy about green beans, so I'm not going to eat any. But I do have some strawberries yeah. <laughs> strawberries mixed with my watermelon. So this is what Dave and I are having for dinner on Monday. And I forgot to finish out this video and close it out. So I am doing that now. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Give a big thumbs up for Chick-fil-A. On those busy nights, it comes through for us. Make sure you subscribe if you're new and leave me a comment down below and we will see you guys all next time. Everybody have a great week.